Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in Procreate. Today we're going to be creating a relaxing little pasture scene with some sheep in it. So let's get started. Click on the little plus on the top right corner. We're going to start our new canvas and we're going to make a 3000 by 3000. So I'm going to type this in. 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas. Hit create. And there we go. There's our canvas. Now I've provided two sketches for you guys like I normally do. I've also provided the color palette and a few brushes also that I use in this tutorial. Uh, you're welcome to download this for free. The link will be in the description below. It is a free download, but you always have the opportunity to tip a dollar or two if you enjoy these free tutorials every week. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. So if you are a beginner, as usual, or if you uh, don't have any experience with Procreate, first thing you can do is hit your wrench icon right here, insert a photo, and the photo that I've provided for you, you can load that up. There's your sketch. Okay, it's a very rudimentary sketch this time, but I want to kind of give you guys the opportunity to uh, put your own style into it. Okay, so that's one way you can trace over it. Um, you can start a new layer. You can take the opacity down on your sketch. And you can just, we could just draw right on top of it, just like that. Okay, if you've got some experience with Procreate uh, and you'd like a little bit more challenge, what you can do is I'm going to delete the layer with the sketch on it. Uh, instead of loading in a photo, what you can do is hit the wrench again, go to Canvas, go to Reference, turn that on, hit Image here in the middle, Import an Image, Import an Image, sometimes it does this and I don't know why, there we go, and you can import the one with the grid lines on it. Now what this does, it sits over here on the side and allows you to look at it and then draw it and duplicated over here. Now if you want the grid lines that are on the sketch on your canvas, the same exact grid lines, hit your wrench, turn on drawing guide, edit your drawing guide, and set the grid size right here to 376 pixels. So I'm going to just click on that right there and just type it in. That's easier. And hit done. And done again. And here you have the lines over here. And the lines over here are exactly the same. So if you wanted to copy it exactly, but with this type of art, you really don't need to copy exactly. I mean, just ballpark figures will be perfectly fine. So let's get started with the sketch. Uh, I guess I'll just leave this like it is for right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sketch it with a pencil. So these are probably the brushes I'll be giving you. So we're going to start off with the Chamel sketch brush right here. And we're going to put in our sketch over here. So what we're gonna do is kind of start right here. We're gonna do a, something like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take our other mountain down from about right here. We're gonna come down to about right there. And the other one's gonna come up right there. Our moon is going to be somewhere around here or our sun, whatever you might think it is. And if you wanted to get a perfect circle, you can just do that and then tap it with your other finger and then you can just resize it however you like. So I'm going to leave it about like that. Then I'm going to take my eraser here and take out this bottom portion. And that's good enough. All right, and then we're going to have some sheep. And we're going to, I'm just going to kind of put them in where I want them. I'm just going to put a circle. One there. One here. Well, actually, let me put this fence in real quick. Uh, so we're going to have a fence post. About right here. Another one right here. And you can, like I said, you can do anything you want. Maybe one here. Another one here. And maybe one up here. Alright, and then we're going to have a fence. So... that and then we have one more 
right. Here's our fence. Uh, oop. One right there, maybe one right here. Another one here. Here, and we're gonna have one right here. Now we're gonna have a small ones because they're farther away out here. So you can just kind of, you don't even have to do that. You don't have to pencil them in if you don't want to. You can just, when we come to the inking process, you can just go ahead and ink them in. And I'm gonna show you a trick that'll be a little bit easier for you. And then these out here are gonna be even smaller. So I'm just gonna kind of put some dots here where they're, where they're gonna be at. All right, uh, that's about a sketch. That's pretty much it. So let's get on the inking process now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start a new layer. We're gonna drag it under our sketch and we're gonna take the sketch opacity down till we can barely see it, just like that. All right, I don't need this reference photo here anymore, so I'm gonna click on the wrench and I'm going to turn off the reference and it's gonna go away. All right, so let me see here. Uh, now let's get, let's get our little grass and mountains in first. So what we're gonna do is for the first color I provided for you, this top green right there. We're gonna do that one first, and we're going to I'm going to use the streamline brush here, the Chamel Mono Stream, and we're just gonna do that. Oops, what's going on? Hey, let me undo that. I think I'm on my sketch. Yeah, I'm gonna lock my sketch. So if you slide it to the left and hit lock, that way you won't accidentally draw on it. Okay, here we go. Now let's do this. Okay, and then we're gonna fill that in. There we go, we got our grass. Okay, let's put in some sheep down here. So our color is gonna be a... I had this one right here, but you know what? That's kind of blue. I'm not sure I like that too much. So instead of using this blue, maybe go to classic here after you choose it and let's drag that up there into the white section a little bit more. Maybe I'll change this one out. Let me see what that's gonna look like. And if I filled that in, oops, that didn't work right. Uh, all right. We're gonna do the sheep on a different layer. So if I did that sheep right here and I filled that in, yeah, I like that. That 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 white's fine. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, it, uh, when you get the color palette, it's gonna have this correct color in it. All right. So now let's do. Um, I'm going to change to my inker streamliner here because it it's a thinner line, and we're just gonna do. A sheep just like this just do it like a little cloud shape all right and we're going to drag and drop the white in there okay next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change to a black I'm gonna put the little sheep head in here so let me do this one more time and that and that and that very simple fill that in and that's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna put any eyes or anything like that. So let's put some little feet in here. And actually, you know, if we want that to go behind, we can drag that layer under. Oh, well, whoa, wait, whoa, no way. Let's, let's not do that because now it's gonna make our face go away. And then let's put it back. Maybe I'll do the feet on a different layer. And we'll do the layer under the body. And that way, when I go on top of the white, it won't show. So we'll do that foot there, and then another one out right here. So that's basically what our sheep's going to look like, okay? Uh, some of them are going to be facing different ways, but we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to do that. So let's do, let's do this one up here. So again, the little cloud shape. And go ahead and fill it in. And then choose your black. And then he's gonna be looking this way. I'm gonna put ear here, face this way, and then that ear like that. And you know what? I put all of this on the same layer, which I do not want. 
let me undo that again i'm going to try to keep the bodies on one layer and we're going to put the faces and the head and head or the uh, legs on another layer we'll do that again we'll put him in there and then change her to our black again let me make sure i'm on the face layer and we're gonna put a little ear here and his face and he's just gonna be looking to the to the right this time and then the leg layer and just i mean guys imagine that this is kind of like a children's illustration or something like that they don't have to be perfect because it's gonna the overall concept of it is going to give the people's imagination of what it is so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be we're not doing photorealistic stuff so just keep that in mind all right so we're going to just continue doing sheep around here i'm going to probably speed the video up on this one because i think you guys can uh do the sheep yourself now and you can just look at my overall thing uh when i finish and you can put the faces however you like or you, if you want to copy exactly how i got my faces you can do that or you can just do your own you know what the sheeps look like now so we're going to speed this up now Okay, we're back we're going to go ahead and put our fence in now and uh, I'm going to use this dark really dark green so one two three four over for the fence all right and uh, I think I switched back to the mono stream again just put these fence posts in put them over here just follow follow your sketch Just gonna do the maybe make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to take oops, that was too big. Take the eraser down. I'm gonna take this part off right here. Like that. And then the other one. There we go. So we got our fence in there. That's what we want. Okay, let's put some shadows under the sheep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our black color again. And we're going to do a, on top of our grass layer, we're gonna create a new layer. And then under the sheep here, we're just gonna draw a little circle. We're gonna fill it in. Just like that. So make sure you close these circles off or you won't be able to fill them in correctly. Just make sure they touch. Okay. One more, there we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the opacity. So click on the little end there and take the opacity down to about 20%, I guess. Looks good, and we get some little shadows under the sheep there. 
very easy. And then what we can do also is we can make some shadows for the fence line. So what you can do is on the same layer, and we still got our black selected and we've already took the opacity down. So then when you draw on it, it's gonna already look like a shadow. So I'm just gonna make some posts coming out like that and then one to simulate the shadow of our post that's good right there I like it actually let's try to make that a little bit darker let's see maybe 28% yeah that's better okay there we go uh, all right next what we're gonna do is we're going to put some little details on the green here so what you're gonna do is go to this uh, under your green layer that you dropped here, it's got this lighter looking color. And we're just going to put in some, we need to be on top, just going to put a new layer. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera very well, but some little light patches and just kind of sprinkle them around just to signify like little different plants and I'm going to use the paint brush this time oop that's too big I'll take that down a little bit that's better yeah this paint brush makes it a lot easier to do this so just kind of scatter some little patches here and there throughout your landscape and then we're going to do the same thing with this darker color right here on the bottom second one over and you you might want to put in like little grass things like that that's fine too anything you like just gonna break it up a little bit Okay, that's good. That's what I want. So that bottom portion is finished right there. So let's move on to the next mountain up there. All right, and we're going to put this behind everything. So I want this under the first grass layer. And this, for some reason, just won't grab it. There it goes. All right, and this green is going to be this second one over on the first row all right i'm going to go back to my mono stream i'm going to start here and just make sure you go completely off the edge even though you can't see it uh oh i held it down so it wanted to straighten it out so what i mean by just go off the edge and that way when you go in to fill it it'll fill it in all right that's good uh let's let's choose this we're going to create another layer we're going to put this under that one and the next color is going to be the one over, and it's the really light one. And that's gonna go, we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna come up like that, and we're gonna fill that in, okay? So now we got three different layers. It gets lighter as you go to the back. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to put my background to this purple color right here. So this, this one way over here. We're gonna set our background color to that purple. Let me just use that right there. And then our sun is gonna be this kind of brownish color. We're gonna do that on a separate layer too. And that's gonna go behind everything. So behind means under. So again, make a new layer, drag it under. That's gonna be in the very back. I'm gonna do this circle. Hold it down, hold your finger on there, and then we're gonna have a perfect circle just like that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some kind of clouds in the sky. So we're going to, again, create a new layer. We want this one to be on top of the moon because the clouds are gonna go across the top of the moon. 
and this color is maybe this one down here below let me look you can you can kind of see it it's not that clear on the camera maybe but in person it's clear so i'm going to go back to the paint brush again the channel paint and we're just going to put in some clouds and what's cool about this brush is the harder you push on it the thicker it gets you can start off with a light touch and then you can push harder and you can end off with a light. So it's kind of like that thick to thin that I usually talk about. Okay. Maybe connect some of these. Okay, just like that, that's fine. We don't want too much. Now, um, for the sheep back here, instead of redrawing all these sheep, what we're gonna do is uh, now that we got these main sheep here, we're going to combine the layers that we had. So remember, we had the faces, we had the bodies, and we had the legs. So we're just going to pinch all three of those together. And now the sheep are on one layer. Okay, now what we can do is, if we're on that layer, we can go to the little squiggly line here and we can choose. Oops, I had it on automatic. We want to make sure it's on freehand. Okay, so I'm going to take that off and redo it again. So I'm going to take this sheet right here. I'm going to draw a circle around him. And we're going to copy paste. And we're going to click the arrow. It's going to have him and drag him up there. I'm going to put him over the little dot. We're going to make him smaller. Because in the background, they're going to be a little bit smaller. And he's already got his shadow on there and everything. So I'm just going to drop him right there. And there you have... A sheep there in the background and you can just keep doing that with with all the other ones so I'll show you one more time I'll take a the S there and we'll take this one here we'll draw a circle around him we'll hit copy paste we'll click the arrow oops oh okay I know why I, I was not on that layer where all the sheep were again because when it copy pasted it put that the one up here, put it on a new layer. So what you can do is you could actually just pinch that together again. It doesn't really matter. But now I'm back on the right layer now. So we're going to do this again. The S. Draw a squiggly line around him. Click copy paste. That's going to make a copy of it and put it on a separate layer. Hit the arrow key and we're able to move him. So you're going to put him up here and then make him smaller. And then drop them right up there. Okay. And then you can switch up the patterns. You know, you, you can put him over here and him over there. And that way it won't look like you have put the same exact ones. And then also what you could do, I'm going to put him together. Uh, another little trick you can do is we'll, we'll choose this one. Let's do one to the side. Okay, let's choose him. Choose him. Copy, paste. Arrow to move him. And... You can flip him horizontally, and they look a little different. So let's put him right here. All right, just keep doing that. And then we're going to do the same thing back here. We're going to make them even smaller. So I'm going to cut the video, and we'll let you do that. And when you come back, I'll have all of the sheep put in here. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, I've got all the little sheep in there. Just copied and paste and uh, made them smaller. I've also taken the opacity down on the clouds a little bit to make them look a little bit more transparent. But basically, that is it. We're going to go ahead and turn off our sketch. And we're going to turn off the grid lines. And there you are. You can use this as your phone background. You can use it as your desktop background. Or you can just show your friends. So thank you so much for joining me. As always, uh, hit that subscribe button. The little notification bell will tell you when I upload. Uh, but I upload every day. We got Procreate tutorials on Fridays. We got kids, Art for Kids Sundays, and then all the other days we got shorts going up. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for your support, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.